Hi, this is Mike. I'm going to show you how to speed up all your iPhone, iPad, and Mac system software updates. Also, it will save a lot of bandwidth. So <clears throat> here's what happens. Let's say in a typical house, you have four iPhones, two iPads, and a couple Macs. So every time Apple releases a system software update, or even if there's an update to the App Store for your favorite apps, what happens is all these devices individually connect to Apple servers over the internet and they receive the updates. <clears throat> so with the system software update, let's just use the math of about five gig. So if all these devices are connecting over the internet, five gig, it's a total of 40 gig, takes a lot of time. Everybody usually is doing it around the same time. So I'm gonna show you a different way to speed it up. So <clears throat> there's a, a, we're gonna show you in a minute how to turn this on, but there's an option in the Mac where you can, what's called cache the content. So the very first iPhone, that requests the update from Apple will use five gig. Um, but then what happens is we store <clears throat> the update on the local Mac. And then what happens when the future devices uh, connect for an update, instead of going over the internet, they connect to the local uh, machine. So after they connect to the local machine, they'll get the update. And since it's all on your network, those other, those other devices are gonna get the update much, much faster than they do going over the internet. So here's how you enable the content caching. Uh, so what you do is go to the Apple menu and go to System Preferences. Uh, look for Sharing and click Sharing. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is click on Content Caching. And there's some options where you can, just, you can select what kind of content you want to cache. We want to just do the defaults and say All. So all we do is we check the checkbox that says Content Caching. Um, and then it's going to start up. It's going to give you a message in a second to let you know that you need to restart the devices to take advantage of content caching immediately. So click OK. And all that means is uh, any of your iPhones, Macs, iPads, if once you restart them, boom, it's it, they're taking advantage of this. And that's all you gotta do. So you just check the checkbox and then restart the devices on your home network. And then the first device that gets any kind of updates, it will be stored locally. And uh, all future devices will now not have to connect to the internet anymore. They'll basically connect to the Mac that you have this turned on and the updates will go way faster um, and your data usage will go way down with your ISP. Thanks and stay connected.